Hello and welcome. Today I want to show you a cool riff, and that's the riff from Tennessee Flat Top Box, and that's coming up. Thank you for coming to Your Guitar Guide, the channel where I'm going to help you find your sound with guitar lessons, music, and gear reviews. If this is your first time here, have a look around and consider subscribing for more guitar tips and tricks. And I'm going to show you how to play the riff to Tennessee Flat Top Box, so stick around so you can too. I'm going to show you how to play the riff, but to make it sound exactly like the song, you need to have a capo on the first fret, and for some reason I've lost my capo. so. Just know that the capo needs to be on one. By the way, I've been playing my Jasmine guitar here. It's one of the best kept secrets. This guitar is less than a hundred bucks at the time of this video. So if you like the way it sounds, there'll be a link in the description. Check it out. So first off, we're gonna play the A string, the fifth string. We're gonna open, pick it one time. Pick the second fret, pick the fourth fret, and then open D string, fourth string. You can do that twice. And on the third time, so on the third time you're going open A string, two, Four, open D string, four on the D, pick the uh, G string at the second fret two times. So after you pick the G string twice, pick the fourth fret of the D string. It's hard to do slow. Don't worry though, I've got the tab. I'll leave the link in the description for the tab. After you pick the G twice, open G string, back to the fourth fret of the D, and then the second fret of the D. It's like this. play so you go back to the G string at the second fret pick it three times and I pick it up and down back to the D string at the second fret and pick it twice back to the G for two picks back to the D for one pick so it's So you hammer on the G string at the second fret, open G string, D at the fourth fret, second fret of the D string, open D string. So here's what we've got so far. like this so what that is is picking the open D string twice and I like to pick up and down when it's put all together and you figure it out it's a fast pace so picking up and down makes it a lot easier so pick up and down on the D string the uh, four string twice a string at the fourth fret, A string at the second fret, open A string, and then it's 
hammer on. So it's pick the uh, pick the D string, hammer on the fourth fret of the D string. Pick the D string, hammer on the fourth fret of the D string. And it's a pull off. So it's a hammer on and a pull off. Doing that twice. Let me show you it all the way through. I'll go slow. So in between the fourth fret of the D string hammer on, hit the A string, the A string, and then pick the D string. Your first finger is at the second fret of the D string. It's very hard when you're going slow. But on the same token, you need to break it down and learn until you get it, and then go to the next part. I have a complete lesson of this song here, so check it out right there. And thanks for watching. Hey, it's Sharon, your guitar guy, helping you find your sound. I've got a beginner tip for you. I'm sure every guitarist has taken their pick and got it stuck in the sound hole. Well, I've got an easy way to get it out instead of shaking the heck out of it. Let me show you. Hold your hand like this. First, get the pick centered in the sound hole. And if you want some more guitar tips and tricks, check out your guitar guide. Go ahead and subscribe right now.